have sung for a thousand years. The hills fill my heart with the sound of music. The hills are alive with the sound of music. Hello everyone and welcome to my latest movie review where today I review the sound of music. In the background I have the I have it on the screen there because I did actually watch it on Disney Plus because better quality. I only have the DVD version. So, The Sound of Music. You may be wondering why I'm reviewing this movie. Well, there are many reasons. <laughs> the first of which being that uh, Christopher Plummer, who plays Captain Von Trapp in the film, has sadly passed away at the age of 91. And this was one of the biggest films that he was in, so I thought I'd pay tribute to him. And the second reason, of course, is that I was going to review the film anyway because... I'm actually in a production of The Sound of Music, yes. It's been delayed because of coronavirus, but I'm playing one of the Nazi characters called Herr Zeller. I thought it would be good research to rewatch the movie. The third of which is because this is a very nostalgic movie to me. I watched this movie quite a lot when I was a child. And it's a very special film on a number of accounts. So, The Sound of Music. It is a musical, of course, and the plot is as follows. It centers around a young woman known as Maria, who is a nun and she is sent away to Austria to care for um, Captain Von Trapp's seven children. Yes, he's recently lost his wife, and he treats his children like little soldiers, and he doesn't really connect with them, and he's always going off and doing things, and he's never around for them, so they need a governess, and they, the children have driven out each governess prior to Maria, and Maria actually stays and manages to bring joy back into their lives through the sound of music. Consequently to that, she also manages to make Captain Von Trapp realise how important and how special his children are. And in doing so, the two of them grow closer and fall in love. And then it all comes down to Captain Von Trapp and his family having to run away from the Nazis who are trying to enlist him to fight in the war. And they do this with the help of their friend Max, who uh, gets them into a Salzburg concert, but he also helps them escape in the process. So there we go, that's the essential rundown of what goes on in this movie. The Sound of Music. Well, this is a wonderful film. There is no other way to say it. It is just a beautiful film. It's a very long film. It's three hours long. So you do have to have the patience to watch this. But quite honestly, the time just flew by for me. I completely got wrapped up in this movie and the emotion. One of the reasons why The Sound of Music works so well as a film is that it's just so joyous. There is just so much light you can have with it and it, it honestly left me with such a smile on my face. I cannot tell you. It's just wonderful. First of all, the music itself is brilliant. Songs like uh, How Do You Solve a Problem Like Maria, The Hills Are Alive, Do Re Mi, um, So Long Farewell, Climb Every Mountain, Edelweiss, you know, all of it is just beautiful. And of course, you are 16 going on 17, which is a classic. And I think the story is just really beautiful. It's, it's a lovely story about a family. We see Maria constantly doubt herself as she tries to fight her feelings <laughs> for Captain Von Trapp, and she, she feels like God is really testing her. And I like the fact that Maria is constantly trying to decide whether she will stick as a nun uh, or whether she will embrace this new life that is that is laid before her because she knows there is something between her and Captain Montrap and there is a connection and she loves those kids as well they really mean a lot to her and she has done a lot for them as well the character of Maria is brilliantly played by Julie Andrews this was one of her biggest roles and after Mary Poppins this was definitely a role that would put her on the map and her singing is just outstanding she is she was born to play this role it is, it is superb. And of course, I have to mention Christopher Plummer. Yes, uh, very sad. Rest in peace, Christopher Plummer, who plays Captain Von Trapp. Captain Von Trapp is a very serious character, and he's the character that goes on the biggest transformation because he realizes that through the love of music and through his kids, realizing, oh my God, I didn't realize how important my kids were. I need to be there for them. And he is a captain of the Navy, and he has this whistle that he uses to keep them in order, and they have to stand in a line and follow commands, and then Maria manages to get rid of that. <laughs> she manages to come in and change everything. And what's great about her is that she challenges him on a lot of his behavior and how he should behave around his children. And then there's that beautiful, poignant moment where he hears them singing, and his heart completely opens up. It's like, oh my God, <laughs> like he's come to a sudden epiphany that 
his children are, are the most beautiful things in his life and he has neglected them. So the story is very beautiful and it's full of a lot of emotion as well. What also makes this film joyous is some of the characters, like the character of Max Detweiler, who I must admit he's my favourite character because he's just so funny. He's very charming, he's aristocratic, he's someone who enjoys the finer things in life and he really would like to be uh, higher up in aristocracy, should we say. And he's a bit of a talent scout as well, he recruits the children to uh, appear in this concert and he's he's very much a fan of money <laughs> should we say and he likes rich people and he makes no apologies for that hence why he's friends with uh, Georg and Elsa we also have Eleanor Parker as Elsa Elsa Schrader the Baroness she's uh, she's she's I wouldn't say she's a nasty character but she's certainly a bit devious she's certainly a bit self-absorbed <laughs> should we say she very much wants Captain Montrap and his wealth and she wants to share her wealth with him as well. And But she doesn't really care about the children. And she finds that sort of thing very hard. So she's nervous about marrying him. Because she knows that's seven kids. That's quite a lot to take on. And in the end she realises that he is in love with Maria. So she decides to leave and pursue her own avenues. Although she does still feel for him. But in the end she does the right thing. But she does actually cause Maria to go. Uh, which is a bit sad really. Maria decides to leave uh, uh, during the party scene because she can't fight her feelings and she can't, uh, she doesn't want to cause any trouble and she doesn't want to get in the way of um, Captain Montrap and Elsa getting married so she decides to go back to the Abbey and it's, it's a really emotional moment when she leaves but then she does come back, she's convinced by the Mother Abbess to come back as well. Also the children are a real delight, they're, they're, they're very good performers, some of the dubbing uh, on them is a bit obvious, that would be one criticism I would say but generally speaking when they sing their songs it is it's just wonderful I mean the music is all about the children really I mean the, the, the children are a huge part of what makes the story magical and, and joyous to watch the other sort of supporting characters I mean there aren't many there's a there's a butler called Franz and there's a housekeeper called Frau Schmidt and there's also a Nazi officer called Herr Zeller, who I will be playing in the production when I actually get to do it and they're not featured too much in the film but they are more in the show also, we have Peggy Wood, who plays the Mother Abbess. She's very good, and especially when she sings that song, Climb Every Mountain. The songs and the story, everything is brilliant, because it's full of so much emotion. It really is very good. I also like the set and the production design. The, the Von Trapp family house is just wonderful. Oh, I forgot to mention, there's another character called Rolf, who is Liesel's boyfriend, who is a young Nazi officer. He's kind of a new recruit, and he's about 17, 18 years old. And they have a song together called I Am 16 Going On 17. One of the most romantic songs you can ever listen to, period. It's just, it's lovely. <laughs> the party scene is another great one as well when everyone's doing the, the Landler dance, which is very, very famous, uh, famous dance. I suppose my only tiny criticisms would have to be some of the dubbing, like I said, is kind of obvious. Uh, but you find that a lot in most old films. And also perhaps the film is maybe a tad bit too long. It is it is three hours long, so perhaps it, it could have been reduced by maybe 15 minutes. But nevertheless, it actually moves at a surprisingly brisk pace for its runtime. Like I said, it's it's a it's it means a lot to me personally because I've watched this film a lot when I was a kid, and obviously I've I actually have performed in the show before, uh, when I was at school, and now I'm doing it again, which is really lovely. And it's the sound of music, it really is just a joyous film. The story is so pure. You know, it's a very harmless film to watch, and the music is so engaging, and I think children, anyone can watch it and love it. That's what's the beauty about it, and Roger and Hammerstein wrote some amazing music for this wonderful film. And of course, Julie Andrews and Christopher Plummer, they were put on the map after this, absolutely. So overall, I will have to give The Sound of Music, I'll have to give it a 10 out of 10. <laughs> I'm trying not to review this based on blind nostalgia. I'm trying to review it, you know, objectively speaking. There's very little to fault with this. It's a very well-made film. It's very well made. But it is on the long side, so you got to set some time aside to watch it. But honestly, you won't notice the time go past because it's so good. It really is. Thank you very much for watching this review of The Sound of Music. And please uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And stay tuned next time when I do more reviews. So until then, I'm Mr. Tarnas11. See you soon. Bye for now.